The slopes of these low hills are covered in houses. This is Antananarivo, also known as Tana. Famous for baobab trees and lemurs, Antananarivo is the capital of Madagascar, an island country in Africa. Over a hundred years ago, it was the capital of a royal kingdom. I'm on the bus to the city centre. I've been told that the people of Madagascar have their roots in Southeast Asia. You know, I do sense there is some Asian influence here. Ah, there's a man pulling a cart, and there's a man riding in the back. I wonder where they are going. Good morning. Here we are. All right then, let's take a stroll around the town. And then in the here we come. It's 9 a.m. and the streets are bustling. Okay. I'm going to head over there and see what's going on. Um, let me look at the map. The city of Antananarivo is surrounded by hills. Old Town is at the top of the hills and New Town is at the bottom. I guess this must be the entrance to New Town. I think I'll go down these steps. Wow! Both sides are filled with street stalls. On the right, they're selling accessories and beauty products. And on the left, a hat shop? They're selling all kinds of things. Ah, oh, she's selling bread. Baguettes. This person, too. Oh, hello. Good morning. Thanks. Mm, they look delicious. Do the people of Antananarivo eat a lot of baguettes? Oh, really? Mm. Good morning. Are you selling coffee? <laughs> huh? This is coffee? Okay then, may I have a cup? What is he putting in there? Ah, it's coffee. Is that condensed milk? And sugar? <laughs> He's really fast. Café au lait. I bet it's sweet. Do you make the coffee yourself? What? Two in the morning? So what time do you get here? Uh, yeah, I'm never tamarin, that early. Oh, a customer. Is he sensitive to heat? How's the coffee? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you like it. Thank you. Hello, uh, merci. Have a good day. Ah, a coffee vendor. Every morning he gets up early and spends two hours preparing his coffee. No wonder it's so good. Oh, look, those pink and white buildings are so pretty. continue all the way.
way down the block. And this road is so wide. Ah, uh, according to the guidebook, this is the Avenue of Independence. It was built in the 1930s when Madagascar was under French rule. Ah, so Madagascar was once governed by France. No wonder the buildings have a European feel. I wonder what they are doing. Ah, oh, it's a street performance. It's a pretty song. Wow, look at that. He's multitasking with instruments. Fantastic. He's using his mouth, both hands, and even his feet. Are those keys that he's stepping on? How's it work? This looks kind of like a couple. He's playing a different instrument with each hand. And he has a harmonica in his mouth. Wow, amazing. Oh, he's finished. Excuse me. May I ask? Yeah. This is a really interesting looking instrument. What? Sheet metal? Wow, really? Did you make it yourself? Yeah. That's amazing. And what are you playing with your feet? Bass guitar. You hold the strings down with your left foot. Ah, oh, I see. So when you step on the keys, the guitar strings underneath get pressed down. And your right foot? You have a needle on your big toe. That's for plucking the strings. That's amazing. Harmonica, koto, and guitar. You're playing all three by yourself. Six at once. That's incredible. Huh? But it must be tough doing this all by yourself. Thank you. Take care. Ah, to support his family, he makes his own instruments and uses his whole body to do street performances. That's very impressive. Huh? Is this a park? I think I'll take a look. Cards. And very elegant ones. That looks like fun. And over here is a Ferris wheel. Oh, this is an amusement park. It doesn't look like it's motorized. Oh, 
Oh, wow. It's a human-powered Ferris wheel. That's so cool. The people on board look like they're having fun. Oh, this amusement park makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. <laughs> Look at those purple flowers, they're gorgeous. What are those guys doing? Handsprings? Wow, <laughs> amazing! Even this little kid is in on the action. Hmm? Is this a gymnastics class? Whoa, they're jumping over here too. Wow! Oh my! Three at once? Wow, they're like little ninjas. Excuse me, can I ask you something? What are you all doing? So, in parkour, you use benches and trees to do different kinds of jumps. Why do you like doing parkour? Challenging your limits. Ah, so the most important thing is to feel free. Oh. <laughs> you all seem like really good friends. Family. Oh, I see. What's this? <laughs> oh, cute! No, thank you! They're so polite! Good luck! Sayonara! Haku! They help each other out like one big family while sharpening their techniques. They all look so happy, like a real family. Great male bonding. Hi everyone, I'm Riza Song, a taxi driver. I love history and old things. Today, I'm going to tell you a bit about the history of Tana. First, come aboard my pride and joy. This is a 40-year-old French classic car. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, let me start by telling you about our roots as Madagascans. It's believed that nearly 2,000 years ago, our ancestors came here by sea from the regions around Indonesia. After that, people also immigrated from mainland Africa. 
the intermingling of the Asian and African cultures created the unique history of this island. During the first half of the 19th century, the Marina Kingdom had the greatest power in Madagascar. Antananarivo was its capital. It used to be on top of the hills. Antananarivo means city of thousand. Strengthened by the presence of thousands of soldiers, Tana proved to be impregnable from outside forces. Check this out. This stone was used for the entrance exam to the Royal Army. If you could pick it up, you passed. Let me try. Uh, uh, no way, it's impossible. This stone weighs 120 kilograms. The fact that the soldiers of Tana could lift this up shows how incredibly strong they were. In the 19th century, trade with Europe flourished and buildings made of stone and brick were built one after another. Even today, in Old Town atop the hills, there are many churches and schools left from that era. The Queen's Palace is the most prominent. It was built by Queen Rana Valona I, who ruled Madagascar for over 30 years. Pretty gorgeous, huh? It reveals how prosperous the city was. But at the end of the 19th century, the Marina Kingdom was overthrown by France and became a colony. Eventually, Madagascar won its independence in 1960. Since that time, people from Asia, Africa, and Europe have peacefully coexisted here and helped develop the capital into the unique and lively city you see today. So what do you think? Do you know a little more about Tana now? Please come visit us sometime. Bye. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. The streets are bustling here too. Stairs. I think I'll go up. Let me check my map. After walking down the Avenue of Independence and meeting the boys doing parkour by the amusement park, I've arrived here. The stairs should take me to Old Town at the top of these hills. Wow. Look at all the vendors lining the stairway. Hello. Here we are at the top. Old Town. Mm, it looks a bit different from New Town below. The buildings have their own distinctive style. This brown building is made of bricks. Ah, oh, so pretty. Orange, red and pink. Are they bougainvilliers? Mm -hmm. What are they doing over here? It's a board game. Something like go or chess. There are more people over here. It seems like it's a game for two people. Ah, black and white pieces. This looks like go. Excuse me. What's this game called? Panorona? Really? It's that great of a game? 
Are the spectators allowed to kibitz? But isn't it a bit distracting when so many people are offering advice? <laughs> Onlookers see more than the players. I'm not familiar with that saying. So, when everyone offers advice, it makes the game more interesting. I get it. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry to bother you. Thank you for talking with me. Wow, they were really into that game. And these folks, too. They all look like they're having so much fun. What a great way to spend an afternoon with friends. Even though it's a game for two, everyone's encouraged to contribute. If I had more time, I'd like to join them. Oh, a cobblestone street. Let me check my map. I climbed the hill to Old Town, walked around a bit, and now I am somewhere around here. I've come pretty far east. Oh, look over here. Oh, wow, what a great view of a new town. Mm -hmm. What are those people doing? These folks are running up the stairs. Ah, they must be training. They're so focused. Ah, are they taking a break? Huh? What? They're throwing bottles into someone's house. That's horrible. Look, the woman went inside. Oh, she's back. What? Thanks. Oh, she filled their bottles with water. How nice of her. Excuse me? Did you refill their bottles with water? That's so kind of you. It's nothing special. So, do you always give them water? What a lovely thing to do. Is everyone in this city so generous? <laughs> Everyone helps each other. That's so wonderful. What a great way to live. Thank you very much. So, when someone is in need, people help each other out. That's the way the people of Tana support each other, even if it's refilling a bottle of water. After quenching their thirst, it's back to training. I suppose I could use a workout too. Ready for a little change of pace? 
Let's take a short trip to a forest where lemurs live. They're endemic to Madagascar, you know. Uh, which bus do I take? Excuse me. Which bus goes to the lemur forest? Ah, this one. Thanks. Wow, it's packed. The lemurs live in the Analamazautra Special Reserve. It's about 150 kilometers east of Antananarivo. I'm told that the largest lemur, the Indri, lives here. Ah, the forest is really thick. Are the Indri in the trees? I'm at the entrance of the forest. Where's my guide? Ah, there he is. Nice to meet you. Hello. My name is Patrice, is local guide here. Oh, Patrice. He's the entrance uh, for the forest Analamazotra. Uh -huh. You look something like a floor of fun here. So now it's ready. Let's go look for Indri Indri. I guess I'd better follow him. Hey, are the Indri in the trees? Oh, I guess he can't hear me. Oh well. This is really the jungle. It's even dark during the day. You know, Madagascar is an island, separated from the main continent. So over tens of millions of years, some very unique plants and wildlife developed. Just look at these amazing plants. Oh, I see a big chameleon, very green chameleon in a branch there. Hmm? A chameleon? Where? Oh, there it is! On the branch! It's so big! It's not moving. Oh, wait! It is moving! Very slowly. Chameleons change colour, don't they? Uh, no, I see another chameleon, like a person is not change colour, and something like an elephant chameleon is a change colour. Won't they run away if you speak in a loud voice? Don't they get startled? No, chameleon is not very afraid for people. Really? And Indri also is not afraid for people. They really won't run away? I guess Patrice is right. He's still there. This way. Huh? What do you see? Indri, Indri. Indri? He's the largest lemur in Madagascar. Oh, I see it! So that's an Indri lemur. Wow, it jumped! It's coming this way! What kind of pose is that? Oh, look! There are so many! Wow! They're much cuter than I expected. This one looks like he's enjoying those leaves. He must be hungry. Ah, oh, it's a baby. Hugging its mum. Hmm? This one is climbing down the tree. He seems wary. What's going on? Uh, I see a female male low down because uh, uh, male is a protect for the young. Oh. Because I see an amiss for lemurs coming sometimes, like a uh, fusha wild cat attack for baby in three or adult baby. Oh. Huh? What's that? Is that the sound they make? According to Patrice, they do that from time to time to assert their territory. Wish I could stay longer. Thank you, Patrice. 
It's three in the afternoon. Time to check the map. I left Old Town and walked down to New Town, and now I am here. Oh, I'm close to Lake Enosi. Here it is, Lake Enosi. Mm, it's so big and open. I suppose I'll take a stroll around the lake. Are these boys heading home from school? Hello. Hmm, those guys are all looking at something. What are they looking at? Oh, uh, hello. Oh, the man wearing a cap is selling something. Ah, uh, hello. What's he selling? What? Scorpions? They really are scorpions. They're alive. Ah, they're poisonous, right? Really? Poison that heals. What? Their poison cures everything? Really? So, how do you use them? Ah, uh, okay. Wait, with your bare hand? Uh, whichever. Okay. You take the tail off, and then? Uh-huh. What? Just like that? <laughs> ah, he ate it! He's eating it live! <laughs> wow! Wow! Thank you for that! That's what I'm doing, Bill. Goodbye! Wow, yucky, that was a surprise. I guess people here have been using scorpions as a cure-all for generations. Ah, look past the lake. That large square building on top of the hills, that must be the Queen's Palace. All right then, I think I'll head that way. This street is really busy. Let me look at the map again. I walked around Lake Enosi, met the man selling scorpions, and now I'm here. I'm at the bottom of these hills. Now, oh, this is a really narrow alley. Let me take a look. The vendor on the right is grilling something. Smoke is filling the alley. Huh? I can hear singing. Where's it coming from? Ah, oh, over there. From back there. Excuse me. What? Practicing? He invited me to come and watch, right? I guess I'll take him up on the invitation. Ah, there they are. 
they're so lively. Everyone's having a good time. Oh, that's an interesting looking instrument. And this guy is really into it. Dance was so cool. Ktut, 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 Ah, oh, concert. So, what was the performance just now? Ah, traditional music. These are the kinds of instruments they used in the old days. What a beautiful sound. Ah, they started again. both African and Asian instruments to play traditional music. They seem to be very proud of their roots. nutritious food every day so I can give birth to a healthy baby. I'll show you three of my favorites. In third place, mixed juice. Madagascar has everything from tropical fruits to mountain vegetables. Excuse me, may I have the usual please? Sure, coming right up. First, parsley. Avocado and passion fruit. It's my special nutrition drink. Mmm, it's so good I feel healthy already. In second place is this item from a street vendor. Koba, a traditional Madagascan sweet. Looks good, right? What? You can't tell what it is? I'll show you how it's made. First, you lay out banana leaves. 
Then you sprinkle rice flour on top. Next, you top it with plenty of ground peanuts and brown sugar. Sprinkle one more layer of rice flour and then roll it up in the banana leaves. Let it steam for three days on low heat and then it's done. I'll have a try. The fragrance and soft sweetness. I can't get enough. Ah, a kick. I think my baby likes it too. And in first place we have Ball Run Versa. Looks delicious, right? What? You can't make it out? Let me show you. First, you put a fried egg in the bottom of a bowl. Next, add fried vegetables. Seafood, meat, and more fried vegetables. Lastly, you add a pile of rice on top. Put a plate over the top, turn it upside down, and there you go. Ball run verse means upside down bowl in French. Ready? Ta da! See how there are many layers on top of the rice? Doesn't it remind you of a milfouille? Break the yolk on top and it melts right down. Ooh, it's making me drool. Let me take a bite. Ah, this is the best. It will surely guarantee a safe delivery. When you visit Tana, be sure to try the food from the street vendors. See you! Huh? Look at that man. He's carrying so many things. Brushes, mops... Ah, he walks around selling cleaning supplies. How interesting! Back to the map. At the foot of the southern side of the hills, I heard traditional music. And now, I'm here. I've returned to Old Town. This brick building is unusual. It looks like it was built a long time ago. Ah, there's someone at the window. Maybe he knows. Hello. Hello, hello. I'm well. Hello, ma. I'm from Japan. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. This building is so lovely. It must have a very interesting story. If you don't mind, I would love to. Thank you. What a lovely room. I guess the inside has been renovated. Mm, it's an interesting design. You keep the place very clean. <laughs> Oh, a restaurant. I thought so. What do you do now? Oh, French. Passing on your knowledge. I see. I would love to. I'm coming. Here we are. Wow. An amazing view of Newtown. Are you originally from Tana? 
fiera amin'izany aho satria tandrazana daholo na tany toerana rehetra rehetra fa teto Tananarivo mihitsy ny fiera. I see. That's wonderful. Ary tena fakatia sy mifanampy amin'ny zavatra rehetra izay na karatsiny io na na pifaliana fa just like a family. So ary tena fakatia sy Radinina ni tera Madagaskar, hari yang faham ni rindrint, fadi meluoni dia faham dengan gampang, hari ini matungan Malagas meraya, setia kena nus menandemanta ni Malagas itu tidak ditanti, kena membuat amfakatim di Malagas yang jauh tuh jauh. I see. Thank you very much. Belum, saya nara, bonjour ya. Thank you. Goodbye. We must help each other, he says. I guess passing on knowledge to the next generation is the best way to do it. It's six o'clock in the evening. The sun is setting. Wow, look at all these people here. This must be a lookout point. Ah, the setting sun is so bright. Wow, new town. The rows of houses tinted by the sunset. are so full of energy. <laughs> ah, there it goes. Here's a family enjoying the evening breeze. Hello. Are you on your way home from work? A long day, I see. Were you up early this morning? Every day, doing your best. Thank you for talking with me. Bye. Enjoy your evening. Ah, oh, the sunset is bright red. I suppose I'll start heading down to Newtown. The people of Antananarivo. They're hardworking, always doing their best, and at all times have a smile for each other. Oh, hello. Good evening. Thanks for the energy, Antananarivo.